Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. <laughs> we got some things going on today. Um, we haven't really talked about a whole lot, but Leg Arms and I are in the process of breaking ground, getting stuff lined up to build some new homes. We've been wanting to build homes on the farm for a long time. We live in pretty small homes and we're getting big families. And it's been something that we've been itching to do for a long time now. And the homes won't get built this year, but we're gonna get the utilities in. That's a huge part when you're out in this area. So Leg Arms is working hard. He's trying to figure out where all the gas lines are, where all the phone lines are, where all the water lines are, because there is crisscrossing lines throughout this whole country here. So he's gonna go grab a pipeline and he's gonna start getting ready. They're gonna bring a, a burrowing machine in and they're gonna burrow under the county road. And I'm gonna get the front end loader going because I might move some rock lines. But I gotta do something for my place too. We got two different locations picked out, so we're working on that. So we'll get more updated as we go on that. So just stay tuned for more updates. But uh, it's gonna get exciting here. I do not know what is up with the birds this year, but they have a vengeance against us. They've got it out to poop on every piece of machinery we have sitting outside. Ugh, it's everywhere. There, whew. It's been a while since we greased that thing. We don't use it very much at a time, you know, it just does a couple minutes here and there and stops, but over a year or two of that, you know, it adds up. So I made sure I got every grease rig that thing has on it and all the fluids are good. These old things, they like to leak along, you know coolant, hydraulic oil, engine oil, gearbox oil. So, loader's good. I think it's ready to move some serious tonnage of rocks. So now I'm gonna go get the International 4300. That's our dump truck. It's it's a classic. Whew. It shakes a little bit. It rattles a little bit. It sways a little bit when you're dumping. But you know what? It still hauls rock. And why do I care? As long as it gets moved. So I'll get that thing ready to go. And then we're gonna go find some rock piles. Oh, it starts good when it's 80 degrees outside. Well, that's not bad. Yeah, everything's shaky in here. I know, I know, I know, I know. As long as it all shakes. If only one thing shakes, then it bugs you. If everything shakes, then you're used to it. Here we go. I'm doing it. It looks like a bunch of dirt, I know. So a couple years ago, Leg Arms took the grader and he ran along this field line. This is not ours, that's ours. And he ran all the rock line into a big berm, which was trying to straighten the field out. It was a good idea in theory, but it also added a bunch of soil to the mix of the rock piles. And there's not much you can do now other than this. And our poor neighbor, he, <laughs> we made this berm and we didn't fix it for years. And uh, I've been meaning to get on it. So I'm gonna run this front end loader down that, literally a half mile to a mile. And just keep scraping up all this amount of dirt, load it in the dump truck, haul it down to the bottom. There's some bare ground down there that's useless ground. Just keep piling it. And if I can clean this up to the point where you can drive across and farm across it, we're in business. So it's something that's been needing to be done for a long time. And I feel bad that I haven't done it until now, but I got time, got equipment, got you guys along for the ride. Let's do it.
right here is I'm dragging the blade of my bucket backwards along the rock line because there's areas of this where there's no rock. But the grass is so tall along this line, I can't tell if the rock's there or not. So I'm mashing down the grass and the weeds, but then we can come back and find the rocks. So far, this is good, but it's nice. I've covered ground quick this way. finished up that rock line dad came and helped with the k steer and uh we got her all done a lot faster than i thought for being like a mile long but i'm in the area i'm standing on an old reservoir this reservoir almost always has water in it almost always except for this year the drought was so bad it is bone dry and over the years the water has been so high on this reservoir it's a nice reservoir but it's eating the bank away and before you know it this dam is going to breach and once it's cut, it's hard to rebuild them. And we don't have an excavator, and I don't know if we'd ever would. And we've lost a few reservoirs already on the farm. There is a spillway over there, but it's just getting thin at the high water mark. So let's build it up bigger. I got some rocks over here. I'll use as much as I can to face the front of this, but I'm just gonna start scooping down at the bottom and piling it up against the side here and just build this hole out, this uh, dam out like another five, six feet and then try to, if I find rocks, lay rocks on the front. So let's see what we can do. Should work. I think I got it where I want it. So the spillway uh, had been washed out, about half of it, had a big trench, probably 20 feet wide, four feet deep. So I pulled this bank down, filled that in, graded it out. It's pretty much level with the side over here with a slight down slope, that's what I want. As far as the dam goes, uh, I just kept scooping out the bottom and piling on the top and trying to pack it into the wall as much as I could. I didn't even attempt to drive across all of this, but realized it was kind of sketchy and I quit but I added at least four to six feet out from where it was. So that should last a couple decades. We'll see though, but I'm happy. This is what I wanted. Every time I farmed by here, the water was getting so close to breaking through and going over the side. And I was like, once you lose the dam, you lose it. And this year being so dry, one of the benefits of a drought, we can do stuff like this. So why, why, why do this? Why use our time, our diesel, our equipment to work on this thing. I'll tell you why. Because we don't have a lot of water in this area and we like wildlife. I like ducks, I like geese, I like salamanders, I like frogs, I like deer, antelope, I like coyotes even. And the thing is they don't stick around if they don't have water. And this was built by a homesteader many, many decades ago. And by keeping it here, we can keep the wildlife here. It's our farm, it's our habitat. This is, this is where we live, I want animals here. And so it's kind of our little gift, I guess, to the environment is to have a little access to water in areas so the animals can live. And I also like hunting, but that's not the main reason, honestly. We don't get that good a deer here. Still, I'm happy that that's done. I grew up playing on this, ice skating on this thing. It's nice that, you know, now I can make sure it stays around for a while longer. So, all right. Oh, she's been working hard. She got a lot of work ahead of her. Two. If I get on the rock line that I really want to move, this one's got a lot of rock on it, so it's going to be a few trips. But um, it's just me here and a loader. 
and the truck. So I'm gonna push the truck to where I need to be, which is down there about a half mile. Let's see if I can do it. Parking brakes off, it's out of gear, it's just sitting there idling. Back of that truck's nice and tough. Got plenty of power to do this. Let's push it. Liming on this truck, doesn't go straight. All right, I'll straighten it out. Let's try this again. Round two. Okay, this time around, I'm gonna hook a bungee strap around the steering wheel and we're gonna force it to go straight. Worked a little bit to the right, but I got it to where I needed to be. All right, let's dump this load. Dad showed up. It helps. There's a lot of stragglers like this, and the skid steer gets those better than uh, this thing. This thing likes to scoop dirt. I try not to scoop dirt, but you got to. To get that stuff, you got to. west divider between those fields has been removed. Oh, I can't wait to farm between it. We've seen it one half to winter wheat, so it's going to take two years so we have to see the thing all the way through. But now I got to start that way. That's north-south, and that's a good half mile at least. And it's going to take a while. And the way the wind blows over the years, the summer follow, and there's more than likely it is buried in a lot of dirt. So a lot more truckloads. But we'll get it done. Making good progress. See you guys on the flip side. All right, let's show you guys what's been happening out here. Oh, I missed a few rocks right there. Sunken rocks are the worst. Let's get all that dirt to get that rock. It's all right, we'll figure it out. But as you can see, boom, like a half mile stretch. Got her all scooped up. It was a lot of loads. I figure I hauled about 60, 60 loads off some of all this. Uh, at what, 11 yards each load? That's a lot, a lot of dirt and rock. I've got piles everywhere. I tucked them to every spot I could find, but it cleaned up. So now technically when it comes time to farm this in the spring, we'll be able to seed a straight and true line right down this. There will pull up some rocks. In fact, I'm gonna come back with probably the tractor here soon and lightly plow this just to kind of pull up whatever submerged rocks that I didn't get up. And then over the winter and the spring, the rain will wash them all down. And they'll be easy picking in the spring, but yeah. I had a little more film in there, but <clears throat> my camera died on me and then I didn't get the film when I was finishing it up. So I'll show you guys some of the piles that I've made. They're big, there's a lot of them. So try to find a spot to follow that rock to. I don't want to drive miles down the road to go somewhere. So there's a reservoir that was just, just over the hill. The thing hasn't had water in a while. It just doesn't seem to get much water, but it's a great place to pile piles and piles and piles of this rock. Cause we're not going to be digging this reservoir to farm through it. And I actually dug out some of the reservoir too and made a little bigger of a pit. So hopefully it does fill up with water because I want that. But I don't know if you can see, but the back side of this thing, I just packed it in there. Just packed it in there. Good spots for it. Oh, that's nice. Nice to have that done. That was on my bucket list for a number of years. <sighs> it's still in the middle of the field though. We had a rock line that way, a rock line this way, a rock line that way, and a rock line that way. And we kind of took them all to the center. I figure farming around this little spot here is not going to be the end of the world. Plus sometimes big white tail like to hide in these things. Another bonus to that. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching the channel. Please subscribe. That'd be amazing. Subscription's been low lately. Must be my hair. Maybe I need a new haircut. People want to not like it. I'll get that new haircut. Maybe I'll get more subscribers. But thank you guys for being there. We've got over half a million so far. It's been a pretty amazing journey. Appreciate it. There'll be more coming. So as always, God bless guys. And um, I'm gonna get back to work.